turn to page 394. Excuse me, sir. Where's Professor Lupin? That's not really your concern, is it, Potter? Suffice it to say that your professor finds himself incapable of teaching at the present time. Turn to page 394. Werewolves? But, sir, we've just begun learning about red cats and hinky punks. We're not meant to start nocturnal abuse for weeks. Quiet. When did she come in? Did you see her come in? Now, which one of you can tell me the difference between an animagus and a werewolf? No one. How disappointing. Please, sir. An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. With each full moon, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. He'd kill his best friend if he crossed his path. Furthermore, the werewolf only responds to the call of its own kind. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Malfoy. That is the second time you've spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? He's got a point, you know. Five points from Gryffindor. As an antidote to your ignorance, and on my desk by Monday morning, two rolls of parchment on the werewolf, with particular emphasis on recognizing it. Sir, it's Quidditch tomorrow. Then I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. Loss of limb will not excuse you. Page 394. The term werewolf is a contraction of the Anglo-Saxon word were, which means Man and wolf, werewolf, man and wolf. There are several ways to become a werewolf. They include being able to power of shape 